It can't be easy transitioning from the life of a world-class athlete representing your country at the highest levels. I've never been able to sit through a Canadian anthem at a sporting event uh, without having tears in my eyes. Uh, not since I started rowing for Canada. And he rowed for Canada a long time. 38-year-old Dave Calder of Victoria is a three-time world champion and six-time World Cup medalist. He competed at four, that's right, four Olympics. In the coxless pairs of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, Dave, along with Scott Franzden, won silver. As an older athlete uh, with a young family, uh, I spent a lot of time on the road, and that was really hard on me, and it was really hard on my family. So that sort of side of it, I don't miss. Um, feeling like I am amongst the best in the world at something, having the confidence, the personal confidence, the team confidence, uh, having the ability to represent my country, wear the red and white, the maple leaf, those things I will always miss. For the first time in 16 years, Dave won't be competing at the Olympics, he'll be watching. I will feel envious of, of my friends and, and my former teammates who are there taking that big chance that um, I'm not able to take anymore. Do you like it more than kayaking? Dave's focus has turned to helping others chase their rowing dreams. I love kayaking. He runs the Gorge Narrows Rowing Club, and he's the facility manager and coach for St. Michael's University School. Now that I know that I'm transitioning into the real world, um, I, I've taken this opportunity to run a rowing centre here in Victoria, um, to try to foster that next generation into the sport, try to make it accessible to adults who want to uh, be active for life. As much as he loves what he's done since rowing, he admits the transition wasn't easy. Because that structure, that singular goal, that, that idea that you wake up and there's one thing that you need to get better at. Um, and yes, there are a thousand aspects of that one thing, but really you're driving in one direction. You have one objective at the end of the year, at the end of the four years. Olympic athletes have, have this tendency to really waffle, especially in the first month, the second month, third month after the Olympics. And it's because they go from having a real purpose in their life to not having to set an alarm in the morning, not having a goal that is pure and the essence of their being. Dave believes many athletes struggle in their post-Olympic careers because they're no longer under such intense scrutiny. In the absence of that direct feedback, yes, that was a good stroke. No, that was a bad stroke. Yes, that was a good stroke. We waffle and, and we don't thrive to the same level because we don't have that immediate feedback right away. Yes, that's a good report. No, that's a bad report, right? It's not the same. Athletes will always struggle with that um, until they find something that replaces it in the same way. Dave shared a fellow athlete's reply when a reporter commented that it must feel so amazing to have won an Olympic medal. And she just looked at the reporter and she said, you know what, I just put my shoes on that day, I put my racing uniform on that day, and it was just one day in a continuum of days. And that's what it has to be. It, you, you turn something that seems unattainable for some people into the next step. And when you break down life into small goals, it is just the next step. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kahn.